my crafty friends in this video I'm going to show you how I created this party for under $50 the day before the party Dollar Tree was my best friend everything you see there I picked up from Dollar Tree um, it was a Doc McStuffin party for Miss Isabel I searched Doc McStuffin backgrounds I made chip bags I'm going to show you how I do that now I found the background and pictures that I liked and here we go Here I'm adjusting the background to fit the front part of my chip bag. Okay, well, I stretched it out to fit the whole chip bag. I'm sending it to the back so that my guidelines are up front. Now I'm searching for pictures that I would like to add into my chip bag. Right now I'm looking for my nutrition facts and my barcode. The ship bag here is going to be filled with popcorn. I don't know if anybody ever had Dollar Tree's popcorn, but it's awesome. It fills 12 of these bags perfectly. Her birthday party, I think we set up for maybe 10 or 12 guests. I made 12 of everything. We only had 10 guests. Okay, now I'm sizing up my nutrition facts and barcode and right under my barcode is where I put my information, um, my email address, phone number, so that people are able to contact me if they would like to order their own chip bags. I'm changing the colors. I'm going into recolor and I'm changing them to this light purple color to match my chip bag. Over here, I'm putting a thank you note. I enjoy the cake and gifts too, but my favorite part was seeing you. Love, Isabel. Oh, thanks for checking in. Okay, I'm changing the font to something that I like. Um, my favorite font is Chasing Stars. I'm believing that's what I'm using. Yes, I love that for like cups and all things girly. I forgot to turn my notifications off, so you'll see messages popping up randomly throughout the video. And I changed my nutrition facts and barcode back to black. I'm not quite sure what I'm about to do now. Oh, I'm adding my happy birthday to the front of the chip bag. And I'm going with that favorite of mine, Chasing Stars. I'm changing the outline color to this light purple. And I'm going to do the same thing with her name. Okay, right now I'm adding a background color of purple. Oh. There it is. And that pretty much sums up my chip bag. Okay, I think I'm debating between pink and purple. Okay, here I think I'm working on my coloring books. I'm looking for pictures. Oh, yep. Yeah that I can add to my coloring book. I'm just on Google searching different images, copying and pasting them into a word publisher.
Okay, and I have just guides on this page. Um, they're horizontal guides. And that's just so that I'm able to know where the halfway mark is in my page so that I can fold it for my coloring book. So where you see this Doc McSuffton picture, that's the front of my coloring book. And where the Band-Aid is, is the back of my coloring book. Right here, I think I'm applying a background color. I'm adding my little message. Thanks for checking in on the back of my coloring book. I think I decided to keep it white. I'm not sure. Okay. And this is page two. I just inserted another page. I added guides. And for page three as well. And now I'm going to look for Doc McSuffin coloring sheets. I pick a couple pictures that I like. Copy paste them all right where they belong I want the first page to resemble um, the cover page so I'm using the same picture except as a coloring sheet and I'm going to add Isabel's birthday or Isabel's coloring book Just a second. Please excuse my children in the background. I can't find the perfect time to record. Well, with seven children, there is no perfect time to record. Isabel's birthday book. And what I'm doing here is copying and pasting those to the front cover of the page because I wanted to say the same thing. Now I'm going to continue to look for coloring pages to fill her book with.
Okay, here I'm getting ready for my water bottle labels. Again, I'm copying and pasting images I found on Google. Um, this is a pre-made or pre... Well, yeah, it already had the nutrition facts and my information on this water bottle. I just have them saved like that, so the only thing I have to do is insert a picture and maybe a background. And I think we're going to just keep it simple. We're maybe going to lighten the purple. Okay, what am I doing? I think I'm copying and pasting so that I can get the color purple that I want. So everything can match. Yep, but that's what I'm doing. And once I make one water bottle label the way I like, I just copy, paste several of those, print, and there we have it. So here I'm just looking for a picture that I can make a cute little centerpiece. Well, my baby, which is not a baby, she's 11. She made a cute little centerpiece using this Doc stuff in here. I just pulled her into my Cricut. I took out the background. We sized her as big as the Cricut would let us and I think it was like a 6.25 by something. And we printed, we cut her out, print and cut. And that was that. She added some little glitter to her hair bow. And I think we stuck her in a can a baby jar can uh, I'm sorry a can for baby food um, covered in tissue paper and it was the cutest little thing and that was our centerpiece okay here I'm about to assemble the coloring book I print my top page out in cardstock and the other is just print on um, I think it's 28 pound paper okay I'm adjusting my camera obviously okay and the only thing that I'm doing is folding taking the inside sheet inside the cover, folding it directly in half. Simple enough. I crease and then you can seal it with hot glue or staple gun. Not a staple gun, a stapler. And this is just a two sheet coloring book. Um, they have four pages to actually color, but and I print back and front. There's a thin line of hot glue right down the middle seam. I fold and that's it. Okay, now here I'm showing you how to assemble the chip bag. I'm sorry, the how to assemble the chip bags, and I'm folding right on those guided lines that I have. A little bit blurry. There we go. Simple enough. And then I crimp my ends. I just like the look. You do not have to crimp the ends. And I'm sorry, I'm all out of frame. But it, um, I got this crimper off of no from Joann's. You can get it off of Amazon, and it's a Frisker crimper. Crimp the ends and then I'm applying hot glue. 
some people use double-sided tape. Hot glue is less expensive. It's easy. You run a line of hot glue. You run your fingers along the seam. Peel away any extra hot glue and then you seal the bottom. After that, you fill with whatever treats you want and then seal the top. And I'm just going to show you again. Okay, and on this one here, I did not crimp the end. So you'll be able to see the difference between crimped ends and uncrimped ends. And with this view, you can't see anything. <laughs> And this is the popcorn I was talking about from the Dollar Tree. I also get these snack bags. They're 50 for a buck at the Dollar Tree. I think they work perfect for what we need. I take my measuring cup. It fits about one cup of popcorn in each bag. And it makes about 12 bags. A little bit more. Um, it just depends. So I fill my bag with popcorn. You can also include you know already packaged chips i like popcorn and this party was a party on a budget it was very last minute um so i had to keep my expense down and you just insert hot glue and that's all I mean, this hot glue was having a time. Simple and super cute. Same thing with the water bottle label. I print, I cut with my paper cutter. Um, I apply just a bit of glue along the edges there. I seal. And there you have it.